Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Respected officers of the New York Police Department, dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, as we gather to reflect upon the profound significance of the World Hijab Day, this annual observance held on February 1st serves as a platform to foster understanding, tolerance, and awareness regarding the hijab, a garment that is worn by Muslim women as a symbol of modesty and faith. World Hijab Day goes beyond a mere celebration. It acts as a catalyst for dialogue and comprehension among diverse communities. It provides an opportunity for people from various backgrounds to engage in conversation about religious freedom, cultural diversity, and women's empowerment, as we are doing today here. Ladies and gentlemen, this day even goes beyond a mere celebration. The hijab is more than just a piece of clothing, as you all know. It represents a personal and spiritual choice. By de dedicating a day to recognize and respect this choice, we are promoting an inclusive society where individuals are free to express their beliefs without fear of judgment or discrimination. The World Hijab Day sheds light on breaking stereotypes and dispelling misconceptions associated with the hijab, as said by the speakers before me. It empowers women to navigate the complexity of modern world while maintaining a deep connection to, you, to their faith. On a personal note, as a Muslim, I would like to share, to me, nothing seems more arrestingly charming, beautiful, and awesome than a woman who is deeply rooted in her faith, who is so deeply connected with, with her traditions, culture and what she stands for. And at the same time, she's highly enthusiastic and burning with a sincere sense of enthusiasm to excel in other walks of life. And I believe sky is the limit for her. I still remember coming from Pakistan as I come from the northwest of Pakistan, where hijab is pretty common. You know, I mean, it's norm of the day. While in the university, I would see my class, female class fellows and classmates wearing hijab. And um, we, we, we got to the conclusion, I mean, in no way it restricted their ability. Because in the end, when the grades would be announced, <laughs> so they would always be at the top. And now, when I look back, remembering all those classmates, female classmates, you know, I see them occupying the most important positions in Pakistan and beyond. So saying this, I just want to convey that it wearing hijab for a woman, it in no way limits or restricts her ability to make it big in life. So I pray to Allah to bless all females and especially those wearing hijab with more power, strength, perseverance, and resilience to stand tall and to stand what this to, to stand always what they stand for and to have a deep faith and conviction in themselves. In the conclusion, uh, the World Hijab Day serves as a reminder of the universal values of acceptance, respect, and freedom. And it also enlightens us, educates us with what is more important, is that uh, we should not be judging or discriminating anyone on the basis of anything, because we all are human beings. Ir irrespective of where we come from, our region, our landscape, our color, our language, our, our, our religion, or our values, we all are human beings. And I think, 
we need to nurture, to support the values of understanding, compassion, and love amongst ourselves. In the end, I would like to extend special thanks to the Police Commissioner Kaban, Chief of the Department, Chief Jeffrey Madre, and Deputy Commissioner Mark Stewart, Inspector Richard Taylor, where is he? I, I saw him, he was sitting somewhere. Uh, I want to extend my thanks to them for always being there in New York to inculcate and to promote inclusivity, to serve all the communities without any discrimination, and especially the Muslim community and my community from Pakistan. And I would like to thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, these few words, I wish you all the best.